It's always been a dream of mine to own my own house where I could go big with the decorations for Halloween and Christmas. I started with lighting on my brother-in-law's house on Halloween night until I could get a house of my own. And then I went big. In 2021, I did my first programmable Christmas display on my house with windows, gutter lines, columns, and garland arches. In 2022, I designed my first Halloween light show using old pallets to board up my windows for a spooky effect. So we have a big day ahead of us. Uh, we have to take down all of the Halloween decor and put up all the Christmas decor. Uh, you can see some of the Halloween stuff behind us. Uh, the Halloween decor takes up about 500 pixels or 500 uh, individual lights. The Christmas display, 3,200. So uh, there's going to be a lot more light going up than coming down. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the Halloween stuff and the Halloween setup, and I'll explain it to you. Yeah. All right, so to start out with, uh, I have a Holiday Coro controller here uh, that controls all of the uh, display. I have 16 channels. I can do about 300 pixels per channel. I've maxed that out for our uh, holiday or uh, uh, Christmas display, but the Halloween display is not maxed out. Uh, and uh, you can see all the channels. I've got all the rewiring and stuff, so the controller stays on all the time, but the lights turn on and off with the sun. Uh, today we have all the lights on because uh, we are doing a test pattern to make sure that as we switch over to Christmas, uh, everything stays up. So uh, we've got all the pumpkins here. The pumpkins have uh, five pixels per pumpkin in there and they do like a fire effect. Uh, so you'll see that glow inside the pumpkin. So we've got five differently, or uh, excuse me, nine differently carved pumpkins. Then we have nine or eight window cells here. These are frames that just hang on the uh, actual window itself, so they're not actually nailed on there. I had to learn how to do some basic soldering because all of the lights used for these are all recycled. Crazy. So uh, I, they're leftover Christmas lights that were then put into uh, the display here. Uh, so all, all of this wood is pretty much pallet wood. This uh, had to be reinforced with some fence pallets uh, because uh, uh, fence planks because uh, it just the pallet wood wasn't strong enough to hold up all of this weight. Uh, and then I just stapled the uh, lights to the uh, the back. So let's check out a back real quick before we take them all down. All right, here is the back of a window frame. You can just see all the pixels are stapled together. Now, these pixels here wouldn't actually show up in the actual show. Those are, are just all, always on black, uh, but it just made it easier to include those pixels in uh, as I was stapling everything together. But as you can see, they just go behind the boards, do some cool uplighting effects uh, so you can see what they look like. And again, they just hang right on the window. Uh, we also have some wash lights on the house. So we have two down here that light the whole porch, and then we have two up top, so the house itself can turn colors, and then the lights themselves, and those will stay up for Christmas, uh, right where they are. We just have to re redo the, uh, the, uh, the signal line to them. And uh, that's the Halloween stuff. So, are you ready to take all of this down and get Christmas up? Oh, I'm ready. I'm all right, ready. before we do that, let's go to the garage and show everybody the basics of the Christmas. All right, here's all the basics we have for our Christmas display. First, we have garland, which is divided up into five different sections, all one big piece uh, that does arches. Uh, really simple, just uh, uh, tie, uh, zip tie the nodes into each section and then put a zip tie uh, to determine where the section begins and ends. We also have uh, four of the upper windows, which are just a little smaller. PVC pipe with all of the nodes exactly where they need to be zip tied and then we have the larger windows over here same thing all pvc pipe they're zip tied on there and then we have columns so we have six columns total these columns go on the front uh, again all zip tied these will actually get zip tied to the column itself uh, to hold them in place for the season and also we have a uh, wreath here. Uh, this is a wreath that has 150 pixels in it uh, that can do all sorts of different designs. Uh, this is going to be the last year. I have eight of these. Uh, this is going to be the last year of these. I'm going to switch them over to something similar to that. So uh, they look much more festive during the day because during the day it looks like that. And then at night it looks like a wreath. So I'm going to change those out next year.
So we are making good progress here on the downstairs portion of the house. We have the columns up, we have the wreaths up, we have the garland, the windows, all with the test pattern so we know exactly where the uh, cuts are. For instance, uh, this bush here is two bushes uh, and it has one uh, hundred strand uh, thing. And you can see where the divide is. So bush one has green, bush two has red. And uh, that way we know, okay, all of those all of those lights go there, all those lights go there. We got two separate bushes. So Nate and uh, Donnie are working on this tree here. There's gonna be uh, 300 lights in this little tree. And then there's gonna be 300 lights in this big tree. And that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I recommend getting one of these poles. Makes it super easy to uh, hang lights up in the air because uh, obviously that's out of reach for me. And instead of getting a ladder, uh, you're able to just extend this pole and, uh, and you can get, uh, get some lights done. All right, so this is uh, my list of all of the channels that all of the lights have to be plugged into and the color that they should be once plugged in. I have 16 channels, uh, 300 pixels per channel, which means 300 lights per channel. And uh, you can see that some of them are maxed out at 300. Some of them you know, are uh, 200, 100 in that area. But all, all, I, all I have to do is plug everything in and it should work just fine. I am uh, up on the roof right now. I don't do well with heights. So this is not uh, my favorite place to be while hanging all the Christmas lights and stuff. So right now I'm up here connecting all of the wires together to make all these windows up here. We still have to put a roof line on the gutter here, which is about 95 pixels. And then up here, uh, we put another uh, round of pixels. That's the hard one. That's the one that scares me the most to put up, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. So we're almost, we're almost done. We are quickly finishing up on our design here. We got uh, Nate belly crawling on the shingles to get these uh, edge lighting up. I love it. We got one more strand to go and we're uh, trying to fix a small problem. For some reason, we uh, only have like half this ring going. So need to figure out where in the programming that's messed up. But other than that, we're coming along just fine. <laughs> we have uh, we have finished putting the lights up. Uh, it took us about four hours to get everything done, take down the Halloween decorations and get these up, maybe a little less than that. And uh, we're just testing the show from last year, but you can see all the lights reacting. Uh, I still have to fix this wreath up here that's not working, and I got a floodlight that's not working right either. But we can see that the show itself is uh, uninhibited, so it's doing its thing. How do you feel about that? Satisfied. It's good. We're done. <laughs> it, it was a little more work than I was anticipating, but uh, uh, it's all done. It's all hung. It's definitely much quicker than actually hanging all the lights. The PVC oh pipe gosh. really helps a lot. That's a game changer. Yeah, just hanging them up. Uh, uh, you know, the trees are difficult. The bushes are difficult. And uh, next year, going big, going bigger than this. So it's, it's you know, got to see the house from outer space. You gotta know, subscribe. Danny DeVito, got to see this, got to see it from space. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you guys out and direct you in the right places to look for your Christmas light display. And Nate, thank you for coming over and helping me with all yeah. the hard to reach places. Uh, Donnie, uh, Donnie, what a lazy person. She went to sleep. You know, what, what's with that? Freaking animal. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. Thank you guys so much. Uh, my name is Clint. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye. Thank you.